Hi everyone, so I am back and I'm back with a bang. I am doing my Halloween Makeup Madness series and if you don't know what that is and you're new to this channel, then I will let you in into a little secret. This is my third year, well, third year doing Halloween Makeup Madness and what that is is every other day I will be doing a Halloween makeup related um, video every other day for 15 oh for one month so it's going to be 15 videos starting on today which is September 15th and this will go on to I think October 13th I'm not sure either October 13th or maybe October 12th depending what it falls on but anyways there'll be 15 looks in total I've done this two years now and I've been having so much fun so yeah if you guys are excited for Halloween makeup madness or Halloween in general please subscribe to my YouTube channel and let's get started on to this makeup idea I am a clown and I'm a really fun girly clown I've done clowns in the past but nothing really like this this is really over the top so I hope you guys enjoyed this video and let's get on to it. So the first product I'm using, I am placing a primer on my face. This is by Smashbox. You can use any primer that you want. Next I'm going to be putting some light coverage foundation on and I'm just trying to blur out the redness and imperfections like that. I'm not going in with a full coverage because we are going to be painting our face. Next, I'm going to be putting some eyeshadow on, um, eyeshadow primer on, and this will help the eyeshadow stay and everything like that. Everything that I'm using is actually makeup products on my face. Um, usually, I would be doing face painting using face paint and cakes and paint brushes and stuff like that, but I wanted it to be a little bit more reasonable because not everybody has cakes by wolf or diamond fx everybody has urban decay mac you know um wet and wild they have maybelline and stuff like that so what i'm doing here is putting some eyeshadow on by urban decay the electric palette and i'm using this nice beautiful pink color from the crease up all the way up to my eyebrows so that's what you see here and i'm just blending and blending that out and using a flat concealer brush, I'm going to be patting the pink on the outsides of my eyelids and just be blending that out also. Next, going in with Chaos. Um, this is a nice, beautiful dark blue, but when you mix it in with the pink, it turns purple. So I'm going to be putting that on the outside of my eye area, my crease area. And since I wanted the outside of my eye area to be a little bit more sharp, I added some tape. And then I also added a little bit more chaos to make the purple really deep. And the next color I am using is called Jilted. It's the lighter purple. And I'm putting that right in the middle of my eyelid area. And this will help really everything pop and blend out nicely. Going in with concealer, I am going to be putting some concealer in the inner corner of my eye and then just patting that out. And then the next color I am using is called Revolt. And it's this really nice pretty silver, like really, really silvery. And I'm placing that in the corner of my eyes and just patting that out with a flat concealer synthetic brush. And for my eyebrows, I am using a NYX Jumbo Eye Pencil just to cover them up. And because my hair is a little bit dark, um, the blue won't pop up as much. So I am. this will help for the blue to pop up. And then I am going to get Chaos again from the electric palette and place it on top of the NYX Jumbo Eye Pencil. And to have a sharp triangle on top of my eyebrow, I'm going to be tracing that out with tape so it looks like a triangle. If I were to be painting this on with um, face paint and stuff like this, 
this look would only take maybe about mm, 45 minutes to an hour but since I'm actually using like real makeup this took me two and a half hours because I kept having to blend stuff and everything like that and putting on primer so yeah I'm putting on eyeshadow primer right now so that it really emphasize and it, the eyeshadow will stay so I won't sweat it off or anything and I'm gonna be going in with this beautiful pink color that we used before called Savage and be um, blending that out all over the triangle and then for like a blending color uh, color effect I'm gonna go in with chaos the beautiful blue and gonna be um, transferring the pink to the blue but you know when it's mixed with pink it most likely looks purple so it's going to be from pink to purple after we're done applying the colors we're going to take off the tape because we are done with the tape and then we're going to go underneath our eyes and kind of make a half a circle and the color I am using is called Gonzo by the same exact um, palette and the brush that I am using is a wet n wild flat concealer synthetic brush so because I want this perfectly circled I don't want it like I don't want the color dusted everywhere and have fallout all over the place I just want it in this circle on my lower eye face area <laughs> and I really thought I could just put some eyeshadow on my nose and call it a day but that was not the case it was very transparent so I just I decided to do something else. I decided to get a matte liquid lipstick by Jordana and this is a beautiful color purple and so I instead of putting it on my lips I put it on my nose to make that little clown nose. For the same blending effect that we did on top of our eyebrows I'm going in with Savage and using a flat um, what is it called a foundation brush and using that and making a circle almost kind of like um, contouring our face but we're doing it with color since I'm a clown and I'm gonna be using pink and then on the outer edge I'm going in with chaos to make that beautiful purple for my lips I'm using a light pink liquid lipstick and this is a beautiful baby pink thought it would be a great color for this look For the rest of my body, I'm going to be carving out my chest and decollete area and I'm going to be using the color Jilted and this will just help it, everything stand out more. And one of the parts that took forever to do were the dots. So blending was a lot because I had to blend the two colors together of pink and blue. And then also these dots, I'm putting them um, around my face area not so much my forehead or um, around my mouth area but I am putting it sporadically on my face and I'm using different colors and the dots that I used weren't also uh, they were not face paint they were actually liquid lipsticks that I have so I had purple pink blue and different colors like that the blue one actually right here is an eyeliner by Mary Kay and it's like a really pretty beautiful beautiful like baby blue slash teal and so I'm just using various colors that I have and then this is an optional step I used rhinestones and I glued some rhinestones on my body and around my face area you could use sequins or you don't have to glue anything on the glue that I used was eyeshadow um, not eyeshadow what am I talking about eyelash glue that comes you know with eyelashes so that's what I used to stick the rhinestones on my face and my chest area. And then all was left to do was put on some wigs. Um, I just picked this one that was multicolor, added some bows, and then that was it. I hope you guys like it, and I will see you guys in my next video. I don't know what I'm gonna do, but I'm so crazy about you. Do